it's a third of the way through September or so in southwest New Mexico, so it's pretty hot. So what we do is do something energetic in the morning, and then in the afternoon we come and sit in the shade. Although we arrived naturally at Bureau O'Clock. Here's our awning above us. Here's the view. Not bad. And today's brew is a classic Sam Adams. Sam Adams Lager. Here's one of our morning excursions. Another place we went to was the uh, Gila Cliff Dwellings, which I didn't know anything about. I wasn't expecting much. Um, I was expecting ruins like the ones in uh, Cedar Mesa, you know, small, separate. But it wasn't like that at all. It was this huge alcove, this huge cave essentially, with multiple rooms. And the only thing I can think of that's comparable is the ruins at um, Mesa Verde you know things like Cliff Palace which you have to go around with a guide now you can't even walk around on your own we were there at Gila early in the morning nobody else there and you can just wander around and it's, uh, it's one of the m most impressive uh, um, set of uh, buildings I've ever seen they were actually built fairly late. I think they left about 1300, which is late for, for Pueb ancient Pueblo people. And um, you can still see in some of these rooms the corn that they ate. And the corn cobs in those days were small, maybe like half the size of a banana, not like uh, corn today. And they're just laying around. They've been laying around for uh, you know hundreds of years. And they've put them in rooms that you look down into. So you can't actually go and pick them up. People can't steal them. It's great, good place.